What down, what down, what down? It's your man, DJ Wild Child. You're checking out Drop the Beat Podcast. Listen, shouts out to my sponsor for liquor for the day, I guess I could say. Miss Krishan Lampley over at Love Corkscrew, man. Listen, if you have not had any of her wines, make sure y'all make it your business to go support this young black woman doing phenomenal with these wines. But right now, I'm going to do a little wine tasting with my man, DJ High Speed in the building. What down, Joe? Good, what's good? What's, what's good, poppin'? family? How you feeling? So, are you a wine drinker? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I Word? Word? So, check it out, right? Right now, we got this uh, Concord, an American blend. All right. We're going to uh, go ahead and do a little tasty taste. All right. You know what I'm saying? Not too much. We ain't going to do too much. much. Not too much. If you don't mind, my brother. I All got you. I got you. Yourself. I'm I used. I'm you, used Charlie. to pour your own trouble. It's great though. Nah. But this is a taster. It's yeah, great. it's a taster. It's All a right, taster. That's great. That's great. So man, we're gonna go ahead and check these wines out. And my brother, salute. Yo. You know you gotta do the whole. You gotta do the yeah. Whole the whole thing. you dig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I watch a lot of red too. First of all, the that's, legs on this joint is nice. all right. This hey listen. This is very nice. This is very nice. And I and ain't I the was, biggest wine drinker, but hey, Krishan. Krishan. That's it. Salute. I was just saying I'm looking for a new red too. This might be it. Well, here you go. The Concord American Blend. I like and that. then next, let's see, we got this Pinot Grigio. Alright. You know, everybody feel like they fancy when they got a Pinot in their life. Or if they just you have to me? say it. <laughs> <laughs> Dead serious. You already know. I know we ain't supposed to mix like this, but ah, yeah. ah. Hey. YOLO. 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 My man. Hey, listen. These, these are some cute little wines, Jack. Yeah, I rock with that. Shouts out. Hey, listen. All right. Color and everything. Yeah. Pay attention. We all right out here. That's a good Pinot. Hey, listen. That's a good Pinot. There's some beautiful legs running off this boy. You hear me? Yeah, that's a good Pinot. I hope she got a 30. Well, anyway, that ain't the point right now. (laughs) Hey, (laughs) shouts out to my sponsor for the season, Krishan Lampley over at Love Corkstrew, man. Appreciate you so much for this. Yo, y'all get ready for this show because it's about to go completely down. All right? Thank you, brothers and sisters. We have something hip that we want to present to you. Yo, 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 what's poppin', what's poppin', what's poppin', welcome, welcome, welcome. It's your man DJ Wildchild, and this is Drop the Beat Podcast, man, right here on my YouTube channel. And right now, I have to welcome one of my boys, one of the homies, one of the family, and one of the dopest DJs I've ever seen in my life. My man, the DJ, High Speed. My man. What's up, brother? DJ Wild Child. Yes, what's up, good? brother? How you feeling, sir? Man, blessed to be here. Man, thank, thank you for coming, man. Thank you for thank having you for, me. Man, anytime, it. anytime, anytime. So let's just dive right in. Where did you get the name DJ High Speed? Crazy story. So I was always just like... Hyper used to run a lot, just run for no reason. Testosterone, cocaine? No, just, <laughs> just, just I was a little boy in the mall that just take off running and then just slide on his knees for oh about my God. six feet. That was oh my God. for no reason. Just got to get that out anyway. Okay, but around like six, seven grade, um, was in Douglas Park, West Side of Chicago. Shout out West Side. Shout out West Side and. Where I live was probably about two and a half blocks from the park that we used to play at. Okay. So it was one of those things where we're in the middle of the basketball court, flash flood. My best friend, uh, Veli Vale, actually, salute Veli Vale. We was actually supposed to be the uh, DJ Jazzy Jeff and Fresh Prince of Chicago. But anyway, that's another story. But anyway, uh, DJ High Speed came because a flash storm came and... Once the rain started coming down, by the time everybody else made it around the corner, I was already sitting on the porch dry. Wow. So they was like, man, dude, you, my buddy, Billy Bell, is like, 
well, you, you ran at a high speed. You, you ran at high speed. I'm going to just call you high speed. But I was already DJing. And, and that was it. Wait, but that was really it. I just stuck. My name, you know a crazy story? My name was almost, thank God. My name was almost DJ Baby Fingers. You a damn lie. Thank God. You a damn lie. I was a freshman in high school, had no idea. I've been DJing for a long time. but How long? Actually, I wasn't even three yet. My mom was the first one who I knew how to DJ. What are you What are you saying? Yeah. What are you what So are you my saying? So my history, my history goes back to uh, weekends at home with my mom cleaning up the house and me playing records. That's where it starts. Got you. That's just where it starts. I, I already knew how to do it. I don't think I was three yet because I got my first forty five on my third Christmas. So damn duck. Yeah, so mom used to wake me up on the weekends to clean the house, and she would say, play mom's favorite song. Word. And my dad had old school, all his system is a la carte, okay? Turntable, mixer, reverb, EQs, amps, everything is separate. Word. And I knew where everything is at. I turned his entire system on, and I would play records, Dope. and I would put on Shaka Khan. Papillon. That's her favorite. Hey. That's why I love that song. That's why that song is so dear to me. That joint, and the crazy thing is, so many years later, that joint still smacks. I love playing that joint. And and possibly one of the better remakes. Absolutely. When when Luther got on it and did Hot Butterfly. Yeah, oh, man. yeah, Not yeah. Not many people do a remake, but that remake was amazing. Yeah. But that's that's my my life is music, literally. Word. That's okay. literally all I know. So let's 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 take it to let's take it to when you really got into the scene of DJing here in Chicago. What what are what are some of your first? What some of your uh, more outstanding memories of really getting into the club scene here in the city so we have to backtrack before even before the club scene my first official gig was my fifth grade end of the year school party Dog, you wearing me you killing me softly. i'm trying to i'm you killing me small you can ask anybody in my family my dad broke his entire system down for the first time <laughs> Unplugged everything <laughs> and brought it up to the school and set it up in the gym. I never forget it. I needed. I needed. Uh, he built me a step. Stool. I was about to say you had to be standing on something. He built me a step stool out of wood. He was. He, he had some carpenter ship about him. Okay. And um, he built a step stool, and I played records at the end of. It was the end of the year, last day of the school year, and the teachers had more fun than the students did. Of course, because I'm because sure it, it was. It was. I'm new. sure you was playing like most. The only thing I kept hearing was, "How does he know to play that? Why does he know that song?" That's good. He's too young to know that. That's good teaching, though. I've heard it all my that's life. That's good teaching. That's that's, that's my dad. That's William, good William teaching. I think my dad and my mom. Shouts out to pops and moms. Absolutely. I equate that to my daughter. At three, four years old, she was heavy into Stevie Wonder. Word. And still is to this day. Like Word. She loves Stevie Wonder and Michael Jackson, like, was really it for her. Oh, and man, then man. she became Rihanna, you know, the Rihanna fan that's forever. Cool. And it was just like, yo. But to start there though. But that's good though. That's major. That's absolutely that's good. Major. That's absolutely I good. I was I was dipped in everything cuz my my granddad DJ jazz was his selection. Word. So that's where my jazz roots come from. Okay. Cuz that's all he played. But he had all vinyl jazz. Okay. Take 5, all of that. So and then man. my dad was basically. I would love to get my hands on. Ooh. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I, man. Thelonious Monk and. Oh, yes, God. sir. All of that. Miles. That's that's where that part comes Oof. from. The uh, old Stanley Turrentine and mm -hmm. you know Miles, all of that. And he has the, like the vinyl records. And my dad is basically Motown and up. So it makes so much sense to me now, because I know like a lot of times when we DJ together, Word. you tend to just go on a rip, and I'll be like, "How in the fuck?" Or, yo, 
like your knowledge, your old school knowledge is some is is insane to me sometimes. It's 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 definitely natural, dog. It's it's like really what I know. But my dad always told me it's too many hits to play a wax song. There's, there's no reason for a DJ to drop a record and the crowd don't like it. There's no reason. I would I would have to agree. That's what I would have to that's agree. what basically has been drilled and that's why the high the, the the height of the party, that's why there's a high to me about dropping the record and watching the crowd go crazy. Absolutely. It's a high. Absolutely. You know how we do. Yeah. And absolutely. It's just hit after hit after hit. Absolutely. And, and that's what he did. But what I got from him was Five hits in a row, he'll drop this record that you don't know what it is. It's hot, but you don't know what it is. Because it's one of them ones that don't get publicized, but it's a killer. It's a killer. What they call B-side records. Yes, sir. And he'll drop one of those in between. And I've seen people run up to the DJ booth like, hey, what is that? And he'll hold up the album cover. And it'll be something you've seen a hundred thousand times. Something, but on you Earth Wind, something on the Earth, Wind and Fire album. On the Earth, Wind and, and Fire like, album, the but song I got this you record. never play. That's because you skip over it. You're, all you want to play is September and Boogie Wonderland, and Look. you're done with the record. You know? <laughs> you're done. Look, <laughs> you know because I mean? the radio played it. But yeah. look, where I come from, that's, that's where I got that from. Dope. Dope. So what are, what, what, what are some of your favorite genres to spin? Favorite. Um, I'm gonna. It's not a genre. I'm gonna basically call it like Dusty's old soul music. What I like to call educationals. Okay. And education. I I I got. I termed the name from one of my guys because he heard me do original samples. Mm -hmm. And that's that's basically my favorite genre to spend original samples because because I started so early, and the age of sampling and covers and replaying something always stuck out to me so if i knew this song and i heard it again but it was kind of different but it basically sounded like this song then that was a remake that was a cover sampling has been done for years if another band plays another band's record it's called a cover definitely so when it came to the original samples coming up in age when hip-hop started evolving mm -hmm. and we were sampling james everything james everything <laughs> you know what i'm saying everything so when i would hear these samples in the hip-hop and i hear the and i know the original record i just started piecing them together and literally all up through my life i just started piecing these original samples and the songs and shout out to the producers who creatively mastered the putting these Taking yeah. these old records. The slightest little piece. That's all it takes. And that's all it takes. So that that's where I get that from. But, right. Because yeah. I think one of the ones that stuck out to me, and I can't think of dude's name, for, but it's a, a song called uh, My Music. And it's a, like, if you're listening to the record, right, it's just like, oh, this cool little 70s vibe. Right. But then it goes to this one little part. But, dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 and then you flip it over like yep. F the frill. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Whoa. Yes, sir. Yeah. But if you're not listening, you wouldn't catch it. Right. Yeah. So right. That's, right, that's right, 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 right. So that so genre wise, original samples would be first. Hip hop is like monkey bars. You know. It's that's that's playground. So much to go. That's playground. House house music is like um, house music to me is like making building a domino. Oh, the domino line. Building a domino pattern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Domino by domino. Yeah. And then hitting the first one and then watching it go. To me. Okay. Because it's the it's the setup. It's the build up. Right, 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 right. You know the the other thing I've always been taught in music is to let the record breathe mm -hmm. where i'm from old school we want to hear the whole thing there's a there's a you know these band members that sat and played in this studio for four hours want you to get to this part so you know let's get to the part but right. you know, that's where i come from right 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 okay so who are some djs 
I'll start here locally. Locally. Who are some DJs that you just love to hear or you really enjoy hearing them spin? Uh, I'm going to start out with the Hot Mix 5. They're the first DJs <laughs> to get my attention. Shouts out. Shout out to my God. every last one of them. My God, that was yeah. That was my passion birth because that's when I started recording the yeah. Friday night session. Yeah, Friday night. I, ooh, you yes. already know. And yes. I was the one to edit the commercials out <laughs> on my tapes. I edit the commercials out on my tapes. I, as soon as he started talking, I'm stopping the tape. I'm going to rewind it. I'm going to play it. Then I'm going to let it get to the point. Yeah. Stop it right here. Yeah. And as soon as by the time I get back to the radio, his thirty seconds is up. And he running right back One, in. One, two, three, four, pow. Gone. <laughs> Same. Dope. Dope. Yeah. But Dope. Hot Mix Five locally. Um Steve Miggity Maestro. Steve Miggity Maestro is an anomaly in Chicago. People don't even like really understand Man, listen. how how genius this guy is with me. You know why I started loving Steve Maestro? Because he was on the radio, okay? And GCI. I didn't Yeah. GCI. Yep. GCI. And and he had a he had a midday mix. I didn't even oh. know it was a mix. But Prince nineteen ninety nine was playing and I was in the car. And I was like, man, I love this song. Nah, 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 thousand zero zero. And you know about Six, seven minutes pass. I'm like deep into my journey. And I realize I'm still listening to 1999. But they're at the party. And I said, it's been about eight minutes. It's been about eight minutes. This song's still on. And, I, and, and he was the one that jumped out and played the entire 1999 all the way up to that break before he dropped his he in his 30 minute mix first of all first of all before you even go that far oh my you God. have to understand that version wasn't readily available no you had to get the 12 inch had to, to get and the they weren't letting that 12 inch go like not that. like that not and like they that. definitely definitely did not play didn't that on play the radio. they absolutely did not play you, you know are always guaranteed did, radio did. version and you know when it get to the end and it Dog. start fading out, but I yeah. recall that song still playing. And I was like, whoa. Yeah, 20 minutes later, and we still at party. We still at party. <laughs> and I was like, whoever that is, let's go. And then I went to him live. So Steve Maestro, that guy's like um, DJ Jermaine. Um, he calls himself the best kept secret. He ain't no secret no more. Absolutely he not. Is signed officially. Yeah. Um, DJ Rock. No doubt. Another another beast. Another West Side's demon. finest. Yes, sir. Uh, definitely uh, definitely underrated. Uh, definitely God. underrated. Uh, Jammin' Gerald, West Side. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Quirky Tracks, man. Word. West Side. On, like, I'm going to say this about Jammin' Gerald. And, 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 and Jammin' Gerald was like one of the DJs that, as a kid coming up. We used to go to the kitty clubs. He was the main DJ there. Mm -hmm. Club called The Factory on the West the Side Factory. of Chicago. Yep. And uh, him, Corky, Slick, Rick, the Masters, a lot of guys, a lot of DJs on the West Side down. Now all them DJs cold too. But what made Jim and Gerald so crazy and cold was that, you know, he used to definitely produce tracks. Mm -hmm. but once he started producing the music to vinyl, I would have to compare the quality of his records to Quincy Jones and the Michael Jackson Thriller 12 Inches, if that makes sense. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. The clearest qu quality. His records are loud. You don't have to do nothing. The only thing you have to do to some of Jarrell's stuff is turn the highs down because he'll fry your tweets. <laughs> <laughs> but that but that was West Side. That's why we, we love the highs. Jesus. But easy. But um, yeah, those guys, of course you, my bro. You oh, amazing man. at what Thank you, you do. Thank you. Thank Ever you. since I first heard you the listen, first time. Listen, and I have to stop right here right now and give you your flowers because if it wasn't for you first of all the way i the way i set up my 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 my, my setup i'm a one i'm a mix in one turntable type of guy messing around with you i got that from you because i forgot how it happened because i had one 
I think that's what it was. So I picked that up from you. And then I remember I was living in Country Club Hills. I'll never forget you came over and started working with me with scratching. And I just took you off. You became a monster. You know what I'm saying? So for that, I have to give you your flowers, my dog. Salute. I Salute, appreciate you for just being a brother and taking the time to work with me when I was just trying to find my way Word. and 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 just find my lane. Right, which so, I'm still trying to I'm still trying to figure out what my lane is, but hey, we all still stupid. Whatever, you know what I'm saying? Still I'm, I'm still working. Game. Gratitude, though. You know what I'm saying? That. So yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah, my thank man, you. Salute that. Man, um, yeah, those guys. Um, DJ T Rail, K Blaze, man, I could I could go. Local man, rest in peace to the boy R. Blaze, K man. Blaze, man. Rest, rest in peace to the boy, to the to the homie, to the yeah. big homie. Yeah. Um, it, I can I can go on with locally with DJs, but you know Chicago, you know we a tough crowd. So if we say that somebody nice, like yeah. they nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. let's flip it to, let's go to the bigger market, the broad, bigger market, the bigger market, market DJs. Give me five. Jam Master J, Grandmaster Flash, Grand Wizard Theodore. Wow. I need six. All right. Six. Cool Hurt. DJ Scratch. Jazzy Jeff. DJ Qbert. I'm sorry. Cuber. These these are these are like five point oh's. Like I can't even give them <laughs> six. These are like five point one, five point two. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Mel Star, uh, uh, DJ Newmark, <sighs> Bananas, DJ. Let me tell you something. And I said, <sighs> I said this in my interview. He is the first guy I saw with four turntables four and effectively. Yeah, yeah. Effectively. What, I, what, what caught me on the new mark God. was he had one. He had one video where he played a twelve inch, and then he echoed it out, and he took off the twelve inch, and it was a ten inch record, and he dropped yeah. that record. Yes. And then he echoed it yeah. out, and he took that <laughs> off, and it was a seven inch yes. record, and he dropped that. And then I said, "He's Duh. ridiculous." And then he echoed that out, and I said, "Sir, we we stop we stop at seven inch," and he took that off. And there was a three inch, a three inch joint, and the three inch Man. joint was "I'm Your Puppet." I have Man. never seen that record before. Listen. As a three inch in my life. Listen, the create salute that. Man, the creativity that dude has is that's who I watch, bro. Like, like people ask me, like who who do I watch in my downtime? I'm watching Mel Star. I'm watching Kubert. I'm watching Scratch. I'm watching Jeff. I'm watching Craze. So let's do this. Between Jeff, Newmark, Mailstar, what is it about them three? It's the roller coaster that they put you on. Absolutely. And you and you, absolutely and you're in the first car. <laughs> the first car is the is the worst car. And you you, be, in the, you better hope that strap is off. No strap. <laughs> no, and you got one of these, and it's loose. Oh my god. And it's loose. <laughs> And and you and you doing this, you going all the way up like hey, wait, this. Wait. And on the way up, they like, uh, excuse me, hello, we nothing. And before you know it, uh, nothing. <laughs> before you know it, you mean. <laughs> and you halfway out your you, seat. You done? But you been you you been you, 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 you been held down. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you nothing, the, I, and and that's the best way I can describe it, bro. That's oh the best God, because God. the 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 anticipation of yeah, you don't know where they're going. Yeah, you dropped this yeah. record. Why, why did you drop this record? Why did yeah. you? So they are known for that, and that's that's what I'm that's what I like to do without losing your audience. Dope, dope. So when it comes to pet peeves, when it comes to. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm 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 Chef's Kitchen with it come when on, it comes to pet peeves, bro. Give me, give me, give me four DJs or patrons. Let's do. We it. can split that up. No, let's do this. Four for the DJ, four for the patrons. Go. Okay, let's start with patrons. Number one, stop requesting, pal. Number two, <laughs> do not 
reach anything spillable oh God, over God. the equipment. Oh Do not God, watch God. your reach. Reach oh around. God, yeah. Always reach around. Number three. Because it's your birthday does not mean I have to play your record. It's 20 other people's birthday in here too. And I'm trying to get a mold for all of y'all at the same time. And I don't want to be, so I have to explain it like this. I don't want to be selfish. And it's okay to do requests. And I said this before, man. Like, I don't think people really understand that. Like, people think we just get up there and it's just like, yo, play music. No, we have to, for us, we have to, we got to cater to these 150, 200 people. And we're talking 150, 200. And I'm just using that as a number. Those are 150, 200 different personalities we have to somehow Absolutely. cater to, but yet still we have to make sure we cater to the person that hired us. It, it, yeah. it's, 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 it's uh, a lot it's that goes. It's a lot that so, encompasses that. Uh, so let's talk about it. Um, let's talk about it. Fin- finish your list. Okay, fin- so, 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 list. My, so patrons, <laughs> don't reach. If it's, if, it's, if it's your birthday, let me do a set for you. Don't feel entitled. Right. Don't feel entitled. Is the absolute word. And um, number number four for the patrons, don't be upset with the D. Don't catch feelings with a DJ if he doesn't necessarily honor what you're asking for. That's probably something that that goes with that. You know, right? Some DJs have like an actual set. They have 30 songs that they're going to go down. Ugh. Some. The ones who get okay. paid. Pay, you know, okay. All some, right. some. But what I'm saying is that what if this was a set playing DJ and you're coming to ask for something that doesn't even go with That's this. That's not even in his it set. It has Absolutely. nothing to do with the, it's what I call a person, you're asking for a personal favorite in front of the club. Right. And, you know, you have to choose, you have to choose wisely. So those are my four for the patrons. DJs. You know I'm Chef's Kitchen with it, all right? Four. Just four. If you're not catering to the people, stay in your basement. Number one. Explain that. What I mean is that if you are just playing music and your head is down the entire time, a real DJ can catch that he has, he or she has no connection with the people in front of them. Okay. I'm just playing music. Right, right, right. Me, right. personally, I'm trying to create moments with the music. Absolutely. So if I play this, if I play this Bobby Womack record and I got Auntie over there moving a little bit and I go up a little bit to some 90s and maybe drop a Shante Savage record. Mm-hmm. Now I got Auntie <clears throat> and Lil Cousin moving. And then after the Shante Savage, I could drop a Beyonce and you creep up. Now I got all three of them, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now there's a whole demographic. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So the wave of the roller coaster being is that while I'm gathering everybody together, now I'm going to take everybody with me. So this next song, Auntie might get it, but Lil Cousin... Little bit, they still on the ride with us, mm-hmm. but this one is for Auntie. Absolutely. Then I'm gonna come out of Auntie, and then I'm gonna hit look Cuz. Yeah. And I'm gonna hit. So that, so that's that's okay. what it, that's what it is to me. But the DJs who are not paying attention to the crowd will never have that connection. Understood. Right. That's why I say stay in your basement. If you want to play your own music, just play your own music to gotcha. yourself. Gotcha. Um, number two. <clears throat> um, do not be entitled to get music from your fellow friend DJs. And and I'm gonna break that down. When I say entitled to music, there's a thing in DJing. Play a hot record, your friend who's a DJ, oh my God, I need that. Depending on who the person is, it won't be a thing. Somebody, you hit me up, bro, you ain't got this? Yeah. Bam. It's I, nothing. I didn't. Oh my God! I I owe you we, so much money, bro. Man, look, I done took so much job from man, you. Man, look, we 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 share. I mean, there's there's a yeah. camaraderie in DJing, but yeah. somebody like I don't know. Somebody just walk up and be like, "Hey, you sell hard drive? You give me eight gigs of everything you just played Fam. tonight." Fail, fail. So we don't. I, do I, it. I got something for that, but but go. <laughs> 
put a pin in that. Yeah. So, so we don't. So we don't do that. Um, third, third pet peeve for DJs is stop with the effects. The like the effects is cool. You drop your name. I drop my name. So this. So this is how I pull it apart. I'm on the radio every Saturday. Effects all day. Fram, fram, Somebody might tune in for 20 seconds, and there go my effect. They heard it. Bam, it's gone. Effects all through the mix. Right, 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 right. But when you're at a party and you, you know, you're trying to build a mold, I get that. It's this is easy. This is this is in yeah. DJ hand, right? Yeah. That's one of my pet peeves. This tap the tap, right? And all, and, and, all, and and the gunshots and the explosions. <laughs> I think it's a fire alarm going on. I'm finna run out the door <laughs> with all that noise going on. But you know, play play the music. Yeah. When I when I when I say to kill all the effects, I mean like play the music. Also, I I think even while we're talking about effects, I think what what also happens is too many people play a f- pay, play the effect to cover up this to mask the transition. I, Thank, thank you. That was Absolutely. about the best I know way to put exactly it. Exactly what you're talking uh, that about. That was about the best way to put to it. To mask a bad transition, or just mask or the transitions. Mask all period. The transitions. Like the, right. the, it's irritating, and this is just my person, my personal <laughs> opinion, my the opinion of Wild Chat. <laughs> Word. Right. I think that when you wind up playing effect during every transition it's like god damn dog like yeah, yeah. fam i don't even want to hear you no more yeah yeah and you know the, what I mean? and the thing is because most of them most of those djs don't know how to dismount mm, that's a, ooh. and and this that's good. just just coming that's out good. the blend that's you could good. fade dismount. out you could it's a lot of stuff you can do but those are the ones who are not comfortable with going from this song to this song without something in between yeah, that's trash. If you ask them to do something in between, <laughs> and I've and I've and I've asked about this because I don't just speak on it. I, like I, I be trying to really like find out like why do y'all do this, and it's really get it's really gotten to a point to where it's 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 like a it's a it's a comfort thing, because if you ask some of them, if you go in these mixes and you turn the effects knob down, when they blend in the record and they go for it, they're gonna panic. Cause they like, I, there's not. It's just two records <laughs> blending. Like what? What am I? What am I gonna do? So it's like, take the other record Wait, out. The fact that you panicked <laughs> out though. I'm trying to tell you, I've seen this before, bro. I can't make this up. I've seen oh it before. Oh my god, man. And it, and it, and the thing was, it was by accident. It was just down. And you can saw him. He, he went for the next record, and you saw him do this, and it was. <laughs> I was like, "Wow!" Just to just to get from one record to the, got oh my it. god, yeah. got it. So I I just look oh at stuff god. different, you know. All right, okay. So let's just move on because right, 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 we right. could yeah. I already know. I already yeah. know. We could stay there and get lost yeah. and yeah. Um, pre gaming for a night at the club. Like, what do you do? Like before you go do this set, what do you have a routine, or is it just like you just chill out and? I listen to jazz. I listen to jazz on the way to every set. Word. Every set. I'm um ninety point nine on the radio. Um, um WDCB. That's them. Or mm-hmm. I'm on the I'm on the uh on the XM on the jazz channel. Nice. I have to listen <clears throat> to something. That's that totally I'm, contradicting. Thank you, and unfamiliar. Man, I have to I have to do something that's because it's literally gonna mess up my set if I go and hear everything that I'm about to play. So that kind of so it, it's glad that you say that because I think for me and I said I had this conversation with somebody, I have to listen to something that's totally contradicting. Yeah, to what I'm gonna go listen to. to do? But then I think. And if I'm to jump back to pet peeves, I think for me, it's irritating that y'all just got out the car listening to all of the Cardi B's and the 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 the, the uh, sexy reds and, yep. you know, the young whoever's and all that. But then you come right in the club. You ain't even had a drink yet. And you coming right up to the DJ. Play Cardi B. I want to hear a little. 
Woman, I just literally watched you walk in this door. How you did that? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just watched you walk in this door. It's and, true. And I think, I ain't going to say I think, I know for a fact it's just irritating when, and I know you feel the same way. Absolutely. We in a certain vein. We, we riding this one wave, and the wave is going good. Yeah. But then when they come with that request, it's something that's so against where we are. Yeah. We yeah. could be at 92 BPMs. Yeah. Ooh, I want to hear a uh, 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 percolator. <laughs> like, right. now? <laughs> right now? <laughs> I'm finna go. Pet peeve, patron, full that's, point. That, that oh. a, that'll be a, uh, that's a, uh, yeah, Ooh. that's a, that's a, that's an extra credit one. Man, extra credit for that Man. one. Man. Yes, sir. Well, you finna, uh, well, you, you just finna go. Grind my gears with that one, don't you? Hey, man. listen, it's an, listen, technology has gotten good enough, sweetheart, uh, or sir, dear sir and right. ma'am. <laughs> ma'am. <laughs> Te- yeah. Technology has gotten right. good enough to where once you get in your phone, it's a thing called Bluetooth. Yeah. It, it syncs to your phone. I think it and syncs I'm, to your car. Yeah. It syncs. To, your, your car and your phone sync, right? Yeah. So what happens is you can go to this little app called either Tidal, Spotify, or <laughs> Apple Music. And, uh, and that same <laughs> song that did not get played because you were leaving, you can now play. You feel me? See the frustration. God damn. This is us. Mm. This is what we go through. Anyway. It's what we go through. And and again, it goes back to what I said. It's, it's more than just, yo, we're just playing music. Right. Like, I, for me, and we've had this conversation, one of the best things, I think, for me is seeing the expression or the body language of somebody who's had a hard-ass week. Yeah. And they come in this spot where we're going to be at because they know yeah. we're going to help them release tension. Yes, absolutely. I can't speak for no other DJ, but for me, that's my prize. Word. I mean, next to the money, but of course, right. That's my prize. Absolutely, absolutely, and that's why, just under that act, never work a day in our life for that. Right, 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 you know right. What I'm saying I've 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 never worked a day, and that is absolutely, and, and you know that body language. They come in, yeah. And you see them one whatever happened that day, it wasn't good. And you, and you can even be. But the thing is, as a great DJ, you didn't already zoned in to this one person. Yeah. And now, som- sometimes it's, it's that one person that only matters at at a certain. That's point. correct. And that's when you put the club. That's when we as DJs put the entire club on our back. And then we go sit down next to this one. Then we talk to this one. Yeah. With the club still with us, still, still rocking with me. Still running. But we talking to this one right now because something going on. Yeah, and yeah, we yeah. We fishing. So we drop this yeah, record. Yeah, yeah, Some of these, they still up here. They still loving it. But I'm still talking Absolutely. to this one. And to throw this record out, I might get a foot tap. Mm, you like, okay, all right. And I throw this one out. And then it's a head nod with the foot tap. Okay, we warming up. Mm-hmm. And before you know it, she on the floor or wherever in her chair going crazy and whatever it was that had them down is released yeah or even if it ain't fully released you didn't forgot about it for but for, for however long time for, for however long you are in this spot and that right there is the reason that you let the song breathe and you don't take it away from them. you have to that's number and i didn't do my number four that's my number four pet peeve with djs let the song breathe because of that reason you work your way all the way up to get this person to the floor and they got to the floor and you just blend it out of it now don't get me wrong don't get me wrong there are times when we as djs we're we building a house and we're trying to get somewhere so we gotta we gotta make these jumps and make these moves oh absolutely sorry it's not always intentional but i'm trying to get somewhere else because i just saw the shift Right. Of energy in the room. Right. Right? I can feel you on that. I done seen the shift, so I have to get to where that shift is. Yeah. And the only way for me to do it is either do a hard, boom, hey, yeah, and go straight into hard it. Left, or yeah. sometimes I think, personally, just sometimes the, 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 the quick the quick lane changes go. Yeah. The, and the, then at the same time, that. sometimes it don't go. Right. So it's just, it's part of that being aware and that's why you have to pay attention to. I have I have been four beats into a blend, and saw somebody walking up to the floor, 
and I dropped my blend, and we in the third verse, and that person went up there and made it up there by the third verse, and now they're partying. But guess what? I was just about to about face them mm -hmm. by taking their record off. Absolutely. So I get it. When you're in fast mode, that's fine. But sometimes DJs can get selfish being in fast mode because we have 200,000 records in front of us. Yeah. And yeah. we're in this one crate that got a hot 50. Yeah. And I just want to get to this next one. I just want to get to this next. I always get to this next Sometimes one. Sometimes it's they, just they, that they, next they, one. They end it. They end the last one. Hell yeah. But I need to get to this. They're going to they snap if I don't get. And that's when yeah. some DJs become selfish a little bit. But if you wait that one more verse, when you drop that next record, it's going to go five times more. It's all, you already know it's going. But if you let them sit in this no doubt. a little bit more, no doubt. Now, and this is how patrons think. Hey, that song just came on. I like that song. Yeah. So um, I was at the job, and uh, blah blah blah, and then the chorus comes on. They sing the chorus. Hey, ah, hey, blah blah blah. The chorus goes off, and they're about to talk to their people and realize that the song is still on. Mm -hmm. So now they miss the song. Now they're grooving. Because the song is still on. I like this record. Just saying yeah. the hook. Yeah. Yeah. And now that you're on your way to the next record, they want to see what's next because you gave me two great verses. Hell yeah. What's next? Right. Right, 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 right. There so last question. We're going to go on to get up out of here. Word. If you could have done anything different in your career, what would it have been? More grind. I really beat myself up a lot because, so I had a lot of talents coming up, God-given gifts. And when you're young and gifted, you don't know where to go. DJing was just always, it's like breathing. That was my second, that's second nature. Got it. But I was also tumbling, doing gymnastics. I was on track team. I just love to run for no reason. That was like stuff like that. It's in a dance group. We was Phase Squad. Shout out Phase Squad 187, West Side of Chicago, 90s dance group. And I was started having I started to have a lot of fun in the dance groups. I could always DJ. Some would even say better than some of the DJs that were at the parties that we used to go to, but that wasn't on me. So if I could do anything different, I would have put in more grind. I could have been that um um that child prodigy D, D, like a like a DJ just yeah. you know what yeah. I'm saying they yeah, call yeah, yeah. they call him early you know what I'm saying gotcha. I was literally like DJ just nice last thing right. last thing how and for those that don't know the the man DJs for CC Peniston how did that come about so um the the head part of our travel uh, division, Golden Days Travel High Speed Entertainment, her name is Des, Des, M. shout out Des, what's up? And um, we went on a trip together to Jamaica and Des heard me one time and was just like, that's it, I don't care what, she's an Italian lady, real feisty, she said, I don't care what you say, you're my DJ. You're my DJ, that's all I'm saying. You're going with me that's everywhere. That's dope as hell. But I didn't know is, CC is, that's her sister. Word. They are. Word. They talk every day. And it was through Dez that actually connected me with CC to say, to, to have CC to say, you know, he knows what he's doing on this music. And she actually gave me an opportunity where CC came to Chicago and um, pulled me on as one of her guest row DJs. Nice. And I actually um, produced the show for her. Nice. And that once she found out, that I know how to produce the show, I know what she want. And then also, see, you know, shout out to the queen, Miss CC Peniston. She gets her audience to the moon. Word. Whether you like it or not. If she has to stop the show, so as a DJ, I have to be on point with <laughs> CC. You got to, she's gonna get it, she's gonna get it, but I love her to death. And, and I thank her so much for the opportunity to, to go, uh, went again many places man we you know we we met a a lot more celebrities she took me on the i love the 90s tour nice got to meet a lot of the nice. a lot of the guys man biz Markey and 
you know, oh, Tone Loke, a lot of the guys, you know, a lot of hip hop yeah, legends. Yeah. I was able to see through her and 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 network with a lot of people. So dope, you dope. know, that's how that happened. Shout out to Dez for putting that through. Dope, dope, and more dope. That's dope, dog. Man. So man, I appreciate you coming in. Man, you know what I'm saying? You for again, me again, this season is about just getting into the mind of some of the dopest DJs I know. Word. And hopefully, you know what I'm saying, the audience gets to feel like they know you a little bit more now you know what i mean so man give us your social media handles where my people can find you at and you know all that good word right you can more than likely type in the dj high speed t-h-a-d-j-h-i-s-p-e-e-d no g-h if you type in the dj more than likely i'm going to be the only one to pop up t-h-a-d-j that's on instagram facebook tiktok twitch Twitter, it's all the DJ High Speed, one word. Um, I got residencies every week, uh, Wednesday nights at Club Lavu in Chicago Heights. Um, that's my grown folk crowd, Cool Kids Corner. A um, lot of soul music. Sometimes I might not come past 85 with the yeah, music. Yeah, my we, type of we night. Grown, yeah. grown in there. Thursday nights, um, Red Star Matson. Um, I do video mixing. I'll be there tonight. Um, doing video mixing up there on Friday night, Windy City Cigar Lounge um, uh, in the city, 43rd and Prairie, where we really grown out there as well. If if you can, if you are a smoke connoisseur, because I know everybody's not a smoker, but right, if you're right. a smoke connoisseur, we real grown and sexy up in there as well. And then, um, you know, just other spots throughout the weekend. You cool, know. cool. So, man, listen, thank y'all for tuning in, man. It's been again a dope, dope, dope show. Once again, shouts out to my man, the DJ High Speed. <laughs> man, I mean, my man been rocking for some years, and Word. this is my brother. This is my brother. There's so much we didn't cover, but don't worry about it. This won't be the last time, I promise you. Same but, man, thing. thank y'all for locking in, man. We about to get up out of here. This is Drop the Beat Podcast with Wild Child. Until next time, I holler at y'all. Peace. Peace. Thank you, brother and sister. We have something here that we want to present to you. Yo, stop it!